Welcome back everybody to Stoneblock. I'm Ricey and on today's episode we're gonna take this room that I kind of dug out at the end of the last episode. I don't know if I showed it or not. I don't think I did. I don't remember. Um, I know I cut a lot of stuff out. But we're gonna take this room. We're gonna turn this into our mob grinding area. So we're gonna move the mob grinder we currently have up he up there down here. Maybe. I'm kind of on the fence about keeping that one. But what we will be doing is making our wither skeleton farm down here. And then feeding those heads into a wither builder. And then farming nether stars. But first, there's something important that we need to make. And that is chickens. Now I know last time... Or one of the times in the previous head, I was like, I'm going to do chickens. And then I kind of like backed out because I was like, chickens are really OP. Well, you need chickens for in-game stuff. Because just the sheer amount of speed that they produce things when you get them up to high levels. And it does take a lot of work to get to the chickens. But there's one that we really need for in-game stuff. And also to make ourselves better gear. And that is, where is he at? I don't know where he, this one right here, the netherite chicken. So you have a 12% chance to get another right chicken from a cobalt chicken and a gold chicken. Well, how do you get a gold chicken? Well, a gold chicken is from a yellow chicken and an iron chicken. Well, a yellow chicken, that's one of the base chickens. But how do we get an iron chicken? Well, you need a flint chicken, which is a base one, and a bone meal chicken, which is also a base, base chicken. Okay, so that's how we get one side of the netherite. What's the other side? A cobalt chicken. How do we get that? Oh, well, that's a nether wart chicken and a gas tier chicken. Well, now we got to figure out nether wart chicken. Well, that's a brown chicken and a glowstone chicken. I bet you the brown chicken. I'm going to have to go look. What's a brown chicken? Oh, that's a red and a green. Okay. Y you see what I'm getting at here? Just to get the netherite chicken, we have to get so many. Like a gas tier chicken is a bone meal chicken and a blaze chicken. A blaze chicken's a cold chicken and a lava chicken. A lava chicken's a nether quartz chicken and a coal chicken. Coal chicken's a log chicken and a flint chicken. Like, yeah. So, as you can see in my inventory, I have all of the things to make the base ones. So let's start making those. We will start with green. Yes. So remember how to make the chickens. You place the egg in the middle and then you surround it on the thing. And we are going to do this with each one twice. That way we have two. Uh, we might not be actually, we're probably not going to breed all of these up, like make them like 10, 10, 10, 10 right now. Um, just because that takes a long time i'd rather focus on breeding out different types of chickens and then within doing that we're going to get better chickens of like the base chickens so the bone meal chicken is all white dye the red chicken is all red dye which i did with uh beetroots because i had some beetroot seeds from sifting or um uh, using the the little hook on dart early on so I had some of those and I just kind of bone milled up a bunch of plants for those. And that's how we got red dye. The flint chicken is flint. And all of these are the same pattern, just different materials around the base. The soul sand chicken is soul sand. And also each one of these eggs takes 20 materials to make a chicken. So I'm actually gathered 40 of each. The lapis chicken takes blue dye of course now the yellow chicken takes either sulfur dust or yellow dye i use sulfur dust because we had uh, some sulfur that we had gotten from washing sand while we've been trying to gather other materials so that's probably probably the easiest way to get it on early on now you do need a grind wheel to get the dust the sand chicken needs sand and finally the ink black chicken needs well ink black dye now there's a couple ways to get this as well as just the normal way of squid ink which if you don't have a squid farm you're not going to have squid ink or you can actually mill up stone or not stone mill coal which is really neat and that's how i got mine 
So you just use the mill the millstone, you throw charcoal or coal in there, and you have a either two black dye from coal or one from charcoal. Alright, now that we got all the base chickens, we can throw them into their different roost. It'll actually start they will start producing um, whatever each one produces, but at a very slow rate because they are only one, 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 and one. Oh my god, we had just enough roost for them. So, yes, uh, we'll need some more roost. We'll need some more room. I'm thinking that's what might this turn into right here. Did I happen to have any roost given to me in here? Because sometimes these loot crates open up roost. No, not yet. Got some good stuff though. Look at that. Got some blaze rods. Oh, we gonna take those. Got some cake. Let's take that cake. Obsidian, pig iron. Oh, pig iron ingot. Nice. Oh, some good food. We'll always take the good food out. Refined obsidian sword. 12 attack damage. Oh, hello. Let's take that. All right, so all of these are producing now. So as you can see, they all have different things. Now, here's why you want to breed them. So you can kind of see the speed. That's with two chickens in here. You can stack up to 16. It's a full stack in each one. But it, it takes a little bit and it produced two. But here's so one for each one. So watch how fast these are 10, 10, 10 nether quartz chickens. You ready? 48. 40. So they are super fast. It just produced that much nether quartz in no time. Okay, one of our first ones that we want to go for is an iron chicken. So it's a flint and a bone mill. So let's go over here. We'll take one of our bone mill chickens. We'll take one of our flint chickens. We'll stick them in a breeder. And we have a 20% chance to get a uh, iron chicken. So I'm kind of thinking netherite. That's where my goal is, is a netherite chicken. A slime chicken would be nice too. Do we have the things to make a slime chicken? That's a clay chicken and a green chicken. A clay chicken is a snowball chicken and a sand chicken. A snowball chicken. <laughs> you see what I mean? So some of these later ones that like a slime chicken will be nice for, it takes several steps. But if I go straight for the netherite, that's going to take several steps either way. The gold chicken is an iron chicken and a yellow chicken. So once we get an iron chicken, we can take that and start breeding it with. And there we go. That was lucky. So get one of these. We'll stick him up here. I think I threw some seeds. Yep. In there. Now we'll let those go. And that'll start working on gold chickens. I also added this. So we have still our sugar cane, our cactus and our, and then I added wheat, uh, potatoes and carrots. And then I added oak, spruce and dark oak for building materials. That way we can start working on, oh wow, I only got four seeds so far out of that, uh, building stuff. So that's, that's the whole thing. That's what we're going to do until we get different chickens. Now, do we really need like really good iron chickens? No, because we have iron for days and we really don't need iron. But what this does is this honestly could take out a lot of this, like that we, the fact that we won't have to have all of this. So it's kind of, we go for the chickens. We no longer have to worry about all of the create stuff, which the create stuff's really cool though. So I don't know, just kind of depends on how we feel on things and how we want things to go. But for late game stuff, we might need the high, the higher uh, production of iron and stuff. This is what we're working towards the gold one. So that's half the nether, right? Now we need to work towards cobalt. So we can either come to the nether wart path or the gas tier. So let's look, let's see what the nether Okay, glowstone and brown. Brown is red and green. We have red and green. Green. 
Red. Red and green. Okay, glowstone is nether quartz and yellow. Which we have a nether quartz. We have a yellow. So yeah, I, I think I'll just kind of randomly check on this throughout the episode and uh, depending on just how much time I spend on it today and how much time I go back and forth, we'll see how far I get. And how many seeds we have left. Because that's also a thing. You gotta have seeds. Now what's cool is I can take this temporal pouch and I can speed up the time. For 30 seconds or so. 4x, 8x, 16x. So you can see how much faster that's going now. And that's how we can get better chickens faster when we're trying to get better chickens. So we got nine, ten, seven. But we do have a time limit on this. I still have two hours worth of time on it, so. That's a 10, 10, 8. That's a 9. Oh, we should start getting some 10, 10, 10s. Oh, that's 10, 10, 9. There's a 10, 10, 10. Nope, get that 10, 10, 10 in there. And now it should only breed 10, 10, 10s. We'll just kind of let that be. We'll check on it in a minute. I want to next work on the nether skeleton farm. I want to go straight this way. All right, I got that cleared out. There's step one. We are using tinted glass, which is different than the glass we're using upstairs. This glass is strong enough to withstand withers, which means we can build a whole wither killing area that's just surrounded by this and it won't be. So, yeah, which I plan on building opposite. So we'll have the wither skulls being farmed over here. And then maybe going through some tubes to get over there. But first we got to get this thing up and going and we're going to need fans. So we have a fan here. We have a fan here and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need 11 fans. So these fans will push this way. And then these two fans will push this way into a, a spinny thing right here. Yep. I think that's how we'll do it. And then we'll do a collection system a little further down. All right. I think we're getting pretty close to ready on this. So what I did, I was able to, you can only put a max of three upgrades on the width. And so I did on this back one, three, and I also did three distance upgrade. I don't know if I needed three distance upgrade. I didn't even check that. It looks like I can get away with two. Hard to tell. Cause this is where one is. And then that goes up by one. Ah, we'll just go and put three on there. That way we for sure hit that limit. But it wasn't wide enough to cover the whole thing, so I had some vector plates that, uh, just from random loot crates and stuff like that. So I stuck those over here on the edge to push them into the fan. So if they happen to land out here, then they'll just get pushed right in here. And then all we need to do now is get the killer. And we need to get some upgrades for that as well. We want the beheading one. We can have a max of 10 on this. We can do sharpness if we wanted to. It's pretty cheap. So that's sharpness and beheading. We can also do smite. Uh, we can also do looting. I think that'll be the best. And then also we need to grab 
spawner, which is in the safety of the box. It's crazy that you can put all those things on there. Okay. Now I want to disable this for a while. It's great and all, but I want to take the things I have back here and put them up top. So we're going to carefully... I don't know if I need silk touch on that stuff or not. If I do... Yes, I'm going to need silk touch. I'm not going to worry about it. That's what I was worried about. Okay, that's cleaned up. So fancy. Uh, now I need to reset up that stuff back down here. With it, maybe maybe I do want it under underground. So let's see. Did this? Oh no! Don't do that. All right. So I have got it set up. We are spawning multiple things in here as well. I don't know necessarily if I could stay away from that. Um, we get zombies, we get skeletons, but we get weather skulls, skeletons as well. So we're gonna turn this thing on. And I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Everything should go down here into this chest and then from there some things are going to a trash can uh, We got loot crates going into the loot crate opener, which is going into this just like it was up top And then everything else is getting filed over here And as you can see we already have hundred and three weather skeleton skulls and then we have a whole bunch of other stuff wild uh, We do want to put probably some like upgrades on all of these like a, a void upgrade, so if it gets up to a certain amount, it just starts trashing it. Stuff like that. So let me go see what kind of upgrades I have for those. Oh yeah, also, and I did another level here. Doop, right there. It's literally just like right below, so. Alright, these void upgrades are expensive. But on things like this one. And this one. Possibly even coal. But we will put a gold upgrade. Can I put multiple gold upgrades on one? Put a copper upgrade on that one. I think we'll put copper upgrades on all these others. Put a gold there. We'll put a gold there. We'll put two gold there. Just in case that thing goes wild. But that's half a million items. That's half a million items. <laughs> So, I mean, that'll that'll take a while before it ever hits all of those. And then later, if we need to, we can put more void upgrades in here. Ah, creeper head. That needs to be added. Oh, and potatoes can stay in there. I don't really care. Yeah, we'll, we'll make one of these potatoes. Boop. So now I need to get Wither Skeleton Skulls from here, across the way. Well, I guess they're, they're there, so we could make it over here. All right, so I played around in uh, Creative for a little bit to kind of figure out exactly how to do this. And I need the Wither Builder that we've been looking at, this thing right here have to have one of these to make it work perfectly. So to do that, obviously we need another star, which we, we can do another star fairly easily. Diamond gear, not a big deal. Weather skulls, not a big deal. Plastic, that's a big deal. Netherite scrap. Do, do you see this? So. Manually, I'll be able to do this for a little bit.
Did I never put the lever underneath it? Or did it just turn off? It broke my lever, which I wasn't having an issue with that. Try this again. Nice. So now we have another star farm. It's not perfect, but if I can get this wither builder, which does take power, so which means I'll probably just build a small, uh, a small steam engine to power it. That way it just has its own power. And then go from there. But we need plastics and we need supreme machine frames and we need netherite ingots, which we're working on the netherite. So... Maybe, maybe we'll get that in the future. I'm going to do one last thing here. I'll eat some chicken. Made some uh, smite upgrades. All right, got some seeds. We got a gold chicken. Sweet. So we got one half of netherite done. Now we need to start working on a cobalt chicken. Another wart chicken is a brown chicken and a glowstone chicken, which I have those right there. Need, need some more roost. All right, we also need a lava chicken. Well, we probably need a coal chicken, right? First, yep, log and flint. We're gonna need gas tier. Bone mill, we have bone mill. We need blaze rod, that's what we're working on, which we have the gold, we need a lava. Lava is coal and nether quartz. Coal is... So that's... We're working for that coal one. Ah, we got the nether wart. And we got the coal. Sweet. And stop. And stop. So, what was it? Uh, it was gold and coal? No, it was uh, nether quartz. We got nether wart chicken, which we needed. So the nether wart chicken and... A gas tier chicken. So we're working towards the blaze rod. There it is. Blaze rod. There it is. Is it blaze and bone mill? Did it gas tier? Oh my gosh, we got it. And there was gas tier and... And what? The nether quartz. Or the, the nether wart. Oh my gosh. We need more roost, though. How much more time we have on this? An hour. Okay. Come on, give me that cobalt. There it is. And then a cobalt chicken and a gold chicken, right? We have 12% chance here. There it is. Okay, so we need to start working on those, getting that full and making tons of netherite so we can have netherite gear. What is this gonna produce? So that is nine. Those nine turn into an ingot. So that gives me an ingot. Did I just do all of that for nothing? All 
I mean, obviously not nothing. We need them for things. Well, I guess we could get, you know, another right Paxel. Now I got to figure out, because I was thinking that was going to give me ancient debris or another right scrap, honestly. That's what I thought those were going to give me. Now I'm still confused on how to just get an obscene amount of netherite scrap. Because it's used in a lot of recipes. Okay, I think I found it. One way, obviously, is through Botania. can also do laser drills with a brown laser lens to get which laser drill might be the best way but it seems like early game early ish game you can use a combiner for mechanism but I still need basalt and I don't know if I have any basalt. But with the igneous extruder, see, you, you start getting all these uh, machines that you need to do anything. Do we have basalt? We don't have any basalt. So we're not all lost, but we do need to start looking at sources of power. It was probably still pretty smart to get that chicken. 13, 14, 15. 16. Sweet. Either way, we got lots of chickens. We have a very manual uh weather boss killer very manual and oh yeah i need to put smite on there let's test this out one more time and see if this kills it faster It's a muffler, but I don't feel like it's muffling anything. Yeah, that was an insta-kill. That was beautiful. Nether stars. And everything. Okay. So. We kind of know what we need to start working towards next time. I think we need to... What is it? We need, we need to start thinking about power. Is that what it's called? I have no idea what this does. I've never messed with it, but it has like energy cells and everything. And I do believe like if we go on here and we go to technology on power, Thermo generators, magmators, reactors, energy cells, energizing orb, energy cables, player transmitters. Yeah. I think that'll be the goal for next time. By the way, what did we get today? Uh, we bred a chicken. Sweet. Oh, could have used that earlier. <laughs> Maybe we should open these more often. We uh, made an upgrade. Got another singularity tank. Oh, I never picked that one up from last time. Okay, we got a lot that time. Armory cabinet, armory cabinet. Um, storage. Oh, yeah. It was on there. Another temporal pouch. Beautiful. We have so much to do on here. Botania. We did get some floral fertilizer. Which is our 
start in Botania. And I think that's it. In-game stuff. Yeah. All of this stuff. Project E. I think Project E can help us out quite a bit. If I remember right, like the, the dark matter tools are pretty good. Oh, thermal series. Pulverizer. Got a cog wheel. Thank you. Like I said, I haven't really dug to see exactly. Like this one's once polonium. I don't know what polonium is. I have no clue. RF tools has like a builder. Force fill shields. Interesting. A spawner. Shape cards. Immersive engineering has the garden cloches, which those are really nice. Create mod. I mean, we've almost completely knocked everything out here. We have a few things that we need to do. A train station. A harvester. An electric motor. So. And we just need to go there and finish some of these things. Anyways. I think next time we're going to look at power. We have, like I said, we did some chickens today. We did get a another star farm of some sorts. It's very manual, but it works. And we will, but, but, you know, we need to start looking at some other machines and other things to help us move forward. Like I said before, if you think I'm missing anything, please comment below a certain path I should be taking. Maybe I'm missing some big, easy stuff that I should be doing or if you think I'm right on track, that's fine too. Comment below on that as well. And if you like the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you check out my other content, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.